Uh, we'll start in the Champions League, which sort of had to take a back seat in the last 15 minutes or so, but there were some big stories here. Liverpool coming from behind to win in Milan against AC Milan in Arna Slot's first Champions League match in charge. Canati, Van Dijk and Shabozlai for Liverpool. Bayern Munich becoming the first team in Champions League history to score nine in a game. They thrashed Dinamo Zagreb 9-2. Harry Kane scoring four, the first man to score a hat-trick of penalties in a Champions League match. Juventus beating PSV 3-1 on their return to Europe's top competition. Real Madrid were pecked back to 1-1 by Stuttgart, but goals from uh, Rudiger and Endrick, their 18-year-old superstar Brazilian on his Champions League debut, saw them through 3-1. Sporting beat Lille 2-0. England's Angel Gomez sent off in that game. And Aston Villa on their return to the top European club competition for the first time in 41 years. Very good night. They won 3-0 away to Young Boys. Had a couple of goals disallowed as well. What a night in the Carabao Cup third round. Sheffield Wednesday winning at Blackpool 1-0. Brentford coming from behind to knock out League One late in Orient 3-1. Southampton triumphing in the all-Premier League tie at Goodison. 1-1 it finished in 90 minutes. Everton giving up another lead. DeCorey put them in front. Taylor Harwood Bellis equalised before the break. Ashley Young, the man to miss the decisive penalty as Southampton progress 6-5. Manchester United thumping Barnsley 7-0. Two for Rashford, two for Garnasho, a couple for Eriksen. Anthony scoring a penalty. Then that incredible, epic shootout at Deepdale. Preston winning 16-15, so they've sprung a surprise there. Palace winning 2-1 at QPR. Ezez deflected, shot on his return to QPR, the decisive goal. And Stoke beating Fleetwood, who'd equalised in the 91st minute, the lead two side, taking it to penalties. But Charlie Adam on his return to Stoke, well, uh, undone in the end by uh, two successful penalties. That was a low-quality shootout compared to the one we saw at Deepdale.